Welcome back to Hens Motorsports. Today we finally get to blow up our two little engines that we were using to produce used oil uh, for the testing that we have been doing. Now on your left we have our AMSOIL engine and on your right we have our Mobile One. What we're going to be doing today is moving these bad boys outside because I don't want to do it in the garage. Once they're outside we're going to be topping them off with gas because I don't want either of these dying due to gas consumption versus having them actually break down because we don't have any oil in them. And then we're actually going to be putting brand new oil in them running them for a couple minutes to get them up to temperature, tilting them back using this system that I designed. They will be tilted back at the same angle, and then they will be drained for the same amount of time. Now my prediction on which one's gonna do better kind of went out the window because I was gonna use some numbers based on our last test results, and I'll have that sheet up now so that everybody can see these numbers again. My prediction was the oil that was gonna do best on the oil retention and the gear transfer, that Lucas oil tester thing that we have. The one that did better there was gonna be the one I would choose that would run longer. But if you go over to surface tension, which is very important and plays into oil retention, AMSOIL went down in surface tension and Mobile One went up in surface tension. But it doesn't seem to correspond with the Lucas tester. So I really don't know which one's gonna do better. I'm gonna put my bets on Mobile One. Now what I want everybody to do is go down in the comments before anything else happens, go and guess based on the numbers that you're seeing here, which one do you think will last longer? Now, the other thing that I wanna go over real fast is both these engines will be ran on high with the choke off, just like I've been running them to get the used oil. So they'll be back in the same position. Both engines will be running the same RPM. I'm gonna be setting up a timer for each engine. Well, I'll have two, two timers going so that I can see which ones are going down. Now, one more thing before we move this outside, I am really excited to get this done. So it's, it's difficult to record this little section here because I, re I really wanna get these outside. But I am gonna be giving the engines a chance to restart. I'm only gonna be doing it a couple times for each one. So if one engine stops running, just to make sure that it's not actually dead, I'm gonna pull on it five times. If it doesn't start in five times, that's it. If it does start back up, that five times reset. So if I, if I have an engine go down, I'm gonna mark the time that it went down, I'm gonna to try to start it. If it starts up and goes down again later, I'm gonna give it five more pulls before I call it. So let's stop the talk and get these outside and get this test going. All right, so we got one cup of room temperature oil. I got that out of the house and then we topped off the gasoline and we're ready to start these up. We'll be running them for just a couple minutes to make sure everything's all up to temperature. We'll be draining them and starting them back up and that's when we'll start our timer. The other thing I'm gonna go do is grab a fire extinguisher. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues like that, but you never know, I guess. I've never blown up an engine, so I'm gonna go grab one of those and then we'll get you started. All right, so we got both engines draining here. I'm gonna give them about five minutes or so to drain. Uh, these actually don't really get that warm, and I've, I've tested this before because that's where I got my 120 degrees from when we tested the other things. This, these engines just don't get as hot as a car engine, and I think that's just, they're just smaller engines. I just don't think they get as hot, so I can actually touch this. When I was testing it, it was only about 100 degrees or so. These are like 120 or 130, so I'm gonna give them a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go hang out in the garage for a little bit while these drain. Uh, enjoy the warmth until I've gotta come back out here and uh, watch them die. All right, so our five minutes is up. Looks like both of our measuring cups are back to an actual cup, uh, which is what I put in there originally, so the majority of the oil has come back out. So I'm gonna put in both drain plugs. We're gonna remove all this stuff, start them back up, and start our timers. All right, so I moved this plank down from the top to the bottom so that I don't have to worry about these vibrating off. I tried to use some clamps to keep them on the sawhorses and it just didn't work. So we've got it moved down. 
I'm going to start the timers and start up the engines. Okay. Ugh. That's time. So I just got off the phone with David to tell him what happened with our test today. And uh, I asked him to guess how long that they lasted and which one failed first. And he said that he is guessing that they lasted around four minutes, give or take and that Mobile One was the one that ended up lasting longer. So David's predictions were pretty close. The Amsoil lasted five minutes and 54 seconds before I went and tried to restart it. Now, I said I would only re try to restart like five times and I tried like eight times on it and it just wouldn't start back up. The Mobile One lasted almost two minutes longer at seven minutes and 42 seconds. When I went to go turn over the Mobile One engine, I got about two or three cranks on it and then Dink, it stopped. And then moments later, when I went to go see if the Amsoil would turn over again, they're both locked up. So I'm gonna go bring the engines inside. I want to see if when they cool off, maybe we can get them to turn over a little bit more. But there you go, there's our results. Amsoil at five minutes, 54 seconds, and Mobile One at seven minutes, 42 seconds. All right, so how did everybody do? Did you guess correctly? I had the right engine, but I had the time way off. I was thinking this was gonna take like 15, 20, 30 minutes. And I remember standing there going, oh, I can't do anything because I, I need to listen to which engine's bad. And without actually physically having my hands on them, I had to just listen to see which one it was. And uh, I was a little bit worried about what happens when an engine goes out. Obviously nothing happened. I had my fire extinguisher with me and my safety glasses, but I didn't want to be like super close to these things. Again, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So both engines are actually locked up. They won't move, they won't budge and uh, they've been sitting here for quite a while, so they've cooled off, so they are, they are completely locked up. So I'm guessing on both of these that the bearings have liquefied, melted, and uh, that's why the engines are locked up. So it looks like we can finally wrap this up. We have our last two numbers for these two oils on our sheet here. So if you like what you saw, consider checking out the Patreon link in the description below at $100 a piece plus the oil. This gets kind of expensive, and I would love to continue to do these tests. Uh, I was, I've been looking forward to doing this one specifically for quite a while now, ever since I thought, hey, let's grab a couple of these small engines where there's no variables between the two and we can test these oils straight across. Well, thanks everybody so much for watching. At this point, feel free to go down to the comment section, edit your comment, let everybody know how you did on guessing which oil was gonna last longer than the other one. One thing I did forget to mention at the beginning of this video is I am not sponsored by Mobile One, Amsoil, Royal Purple, any of these oils that I have been testing on my channel. I am not sponsored by any of them. These are strictly findings and tests that I've done. If anybody is curious and wants to see the raw footage, I can definitely make that happen. As always, let's keep the comment section civil, family friendly. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we will see everybody in the next video.